guys, Georgette here. Welcome to Weekends with G. This weekend I am making scrunchies. Now I was inspired to bust out my scraps and make some scrunchies from buying Girl Scout cookies. This weekend I did end up buying quite a few boxes of cookies. And I started to remember all of the fun crafts that I used to do when I was a Girl Scout. And I remember making and wearing my scrunchie that I made all of the time. So I figured this would be an awesome way for me to get rid of some of my scraps and to create something functional. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you how I make my scrunchies. So I have cut out a piece of fabric that I'm going to make a scrunchie out of. This is just a piece of scrap fabric that I had lying around. It measures four inches wide by about 24 inches long. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to fold it in half and pin it along this seam line. Okay, so I've gone ahead and pinned this scrunchie closed, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to baste from the end to this point, and then I'm going to stitch all the way across, and then when I get to this point, I'm going to baste from here to the end. And that is because of how I'm going to finish the scrunchie. Um, I need this opening, and you'll see at the end. Uh, why basted from this point all the way out to the ends. Okay, so let me get to the machine and stitch this closed. All right, so I've gone ahead and stitched this seam closed and I have pressed it open, just a light pressing. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove my basting stitches and I'm going to flip this tube right side out. So now I'm just going to go to the iron and give it a good pressing and I want to make sure that I press it flat with this seam being flat and pointing upwards. Okay, so I've got it pressed and I have this seam pointing up and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to top stitch along this seam and I'm going to stop where my opening is. Okay, so let me take that to the machine. Okay, so now I've gone ahead and top stitched this edge. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ends and pin them together and close up my tube. And this is why I left an opening. I basted the edges and left that opening. It just makes it easier to close the tube once you've stitched everything together. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go back to the machine and stitch this opening closed at 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. As you can see, I've stitched this opening closed. Let's see if you can see that. And I've gone ahead and pressed open the seam. So now if you just pull it apart, you can see that I've got a closed tube with a little opening right here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my elastic. I'm using 
I think this is quarter inch elastic and it's about nine inches long. And I'm gonna go ahead and feed that through my casing and then stitch that closed, stitch the elastic closed. Here we go. Alrighty, so now I'm going to go to the machine and just do a zigzag stitch to close up this elastic. So now that my elastic is in, I'm going to go ahead and close up my scrunchie. So I'm going to take these folded edges and just pin them together. Now that I have closed this opening, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start top stitching from where I left off. So I'll start here and close the opening and end here. All right, so the scrunchie is now closed and it is finished. Just want to move your gathers around, try to spread it out pretty evenly. So yeah, I just love making scrunchies in this way because I don't have to hand stitch the opening closed. I can use my machine. So I'm very pleased with this scrunchie and I think I'll be making quite a few more. I've got a lot of soft woven fabrics and I have a lot of scraps from those fabrics. So yeah, I think I'm going to be making quite a few more of these. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make my scrunchies and thank you so much for joining me this weekend. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. And until next time, guys, bye.